Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the input of a function machine if you are given the output. So to do this you need to work out the inverse operations and carry out the inverse operations in reverse order. So start at the end and work your way backwards to the start. So let's have a look at the first example. If the output is 35, work out the input. So we've got the output which is 35 and we've got to try and work our way backwards to find the input. So let's write the 35 down. So first of all we need to do the opposite to minus 1 which is plus 1 because the opposite to take away is add. So we go 35 add 1 which is 36. So if we copy 36 to the next line and then our next inverse to do is do the opposite to times 4. So the opposite to times 4 is divide by 4. So that is our next operation to do. So if we do 36 divided by 4, that gives us an answer of 9. So our input would be 9. So you can actually check that answer, see if it's correct. So we can do that by putting 9 into the function machine. So 9 times 4 is 36. Take away 1 does give 35. So we know that answer is correct. So let's have a look at the second example. So if the output is 12, work out the input. So we've got the output of 12. So again, work our way backwards. So if we do the opposite to plus 4, which is take away 4. So 12 take away 4 gives 8. So let's copy that to the next line. Then we've got to do the next inverse, which is the opposite to divide 5. So that is times 5. So 8 times 5 gives an answer of 40. So again, let's just check to see if that answer is correct by putting 40 into the function machine. So if we go 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 add 4 is 12. So we know that 40 is the correct answer. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.